Welcome back, everybody, to Europa Universalis 4 here as Byzantium. Hope you've been enjoying the run so far. Today, we are going to continue our war here against uh, these lads. Hopefully not get caught in some bad fights over here because the French do have quite a few men still going on. Uh, sadly, the British are not helping. The 70 stack over here may be a good and useful distraction. So I think we should probably start marching up here and get... Get a, get a little bit of a distraction going on, because the the, the French are kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie, they're they're a little bit scary. Luckily for us, we are dumpstering their navy. We just sunk all those transports. Is that for real? Is that for real? That's uh, uh oh, oh no, I ran. Oh gosh, I missed it, and it was a battle in the mountains as well. Well, rip that manpower stack. That is uh, that is tragic. Let's go ahead and pull back here, uh, find a spot that isn't super painful for us to reinforce in. And uh, this is a mountains province, so we're going to have to make sure that we um, take this one as quickly as possible. This is a hills fort, which is very good for us as well. Let's go ahead and scorch that and give it to Imeretti. And do a quick car siege here, just to make sure that we are uh, getting them ready to go. Now... These uh, naval battles are not actually going super good for us. I'd be willing to bet we have some upgrades to do. So let's go ahead and do those. Right. 69 ships. Yeah. Probably should upgrade some of our ships. Don't uh, don't yoink the money from there. But for the rest, we can. I don't care about the base tax. We clearly do not have hurt for the money. But I do want to keep the 70 in Constantinople for the extra for that modifier there. These guys all will be upgraded. Need a little bit more for these guys. So let's go ahead and get that money. Save that money. Name that uh, iconic artist. <laughs> Not so good anymore, but back in uh, back in like my college days, he was an absolute legend, musician, rapper, whatever you want to call him. All right. So, how is uh, the British doing? They're on England. They're, they're only England still. That's kind of weird, actually. Such a big colonial nation, and, and they're not really doing a whole lot. <laughs> Uh, how are you not, um, that's weird, man. Are they allied to France? No, they're not. Yeah, I don't know what England's doing, to be honest with you. Doesn't matter, though. Let's have you guys come over here and have you guys come over here. And we just kind of need to post up and see if we can bait them into bad fights while we siege down Aragon. Now, I do need to be mindful that, um, the French are, ah, oh, man. Yeah, we're going to need to dismantle the French because we're going to need to conquer the French eventually. And uh, that very well may be uh, a bit of a, a... Come on. I do not want to do this. We've sacked their province here. Do I have money? Yeah, one loan is fine for five professionals. I think that's very much worth it. We'll be able to pay it off in no time. They are sieging down some lands over here, but uh, I think we're fine. Yeah, that was an accident. Gosh dang it, man. That's smart. The AI just like posted up a seven stack over here. Oh, they actually took like super heavy losses. That's Aragon's army too. Why are they just sitting over here in the mountains? <laughs> questionable, questionable. Okay, let's have you guys split. I have these guys head on over to uh, the mountains here. Definitely need to be mindful. They, they will jump on me. All right, that one wasn't nearly as bad. I will be a little more mindful with that army. Definitely get that 20% trade efficiency. Price of sukar. We like sugar. It's yummy. Yum, yummy sugar. Give me some uh, sugar, baby. So, a little risky over here on the board, but all Gucci for me. Just need to make sure that I'm not uh, going to accidentally run into a battle here. Okay. Not sure where the Aragonese army is. Oh, here's a French army. So, the French do have a big army, man. It's, it's like kind of scary how big they are. I don't know what they're doing. They probably just got like armies just marching around in their in their homelands, just ready to, to pounce on me, but it's okay. So far, so good. Can't reach uh, Aragon, their capital at least. Yeah, none of this matters to me. They are on uh, Roma. Obviously, we do not want them to siege down Roma. So let's go ahead and put on the defensiveness edict there. Now. Yes, all of our provinces could that could convert did convert, which is cool. So we've got uh, that's a really nice thing. I don't think I'm going to do any manual con uh, culture conversions this time around. People have been asking about it. 
probably going to focus on getting our mercantilism up. It's something that I use usually do, but uh, probably not necessary this time around, if I'm being honest, lads. And, uh, yeah, we're taking quite a bit of attrition over here, but um, it's honestly not a big deal. Uh-huh, we've got a mission done. Let's take a look where we at here. Oh my gosh, sea fire. Liquid fire, galley combat ability, which is great. We've got lots of them, as well as largest navy in the world. We will get 20 years of trade efficiency, 20% naval tradition, and yearly prestige. Ooh, legendary. Legend, legendary. Perfect. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay. <laughs> That's a thing. Barcelona has been sieged down. Now we are going to be able to start pushing into France. I'm not sure. I kind of want these guys to win this siege. So that way I can run down and get these guys off of that fort. That would probably be ideal. Let's have these guys start sieging down some forts over in France. And let's scorch this province here and get marching down this way. This is hills over here. So if we can fight them there, we definitely want to. Imeretti. We'll take that province as well. And meanwhile, Fr France is probably... Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. We This is exactly what we want. Yeah, yeah. We want France to start um, sending their armies back to their homeland. They did win the Siege of Rome, sadly. But luckily, they got off that one. Can I catch them in Pisa? I cannot. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. Now this is hills, but I think it's probably fine. Ah, uh, they're reinforcing those, sadly. That French morale is, uh, it's pretty crazy. They're still taking super heavy losses. Obviously, these guys can't afford it. Uh, our manpower pool is dipping, but it looks like the French are not trying to... I'd love to fight these guys. Oh, hello. This is grassland, so probably not the smartest fight of my life. Really? I can't get away? Okay. Well, let's make sure we got our best general here. They've got 3-5. We can go with 4-4. Four, four. It's the best I can do. Illy. I can get one more general. 3-6. Probably not. 3 2 2-4. 5-3. Much better. Thank you. Thank you. Four siege pips as well. Uh, that's, this may be a win. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a win for us. Oh, my gosh, they're taking big losses. Okay, cool. Let's siege back Roma. No need to force march. Waste my manas. And uh, they'll probably start marching their armies over here. This is perfect. They want to siege these guys down over here. Sieging down Lorraine is, is, is really good for me. It's a good uh, distraction. Now, France is going to be going on to medium enthusiasm shortly. Now, I probably should be smart and siege down at least a few of their provinces and uh, hurt their prosperity. It would probably be intelligent for us. So I think we will do that. So make sure we give that over to Imeretti. This one over to Imeretti. Oh, no, it was this one. Scorch it. Head on over. Yeah. We've won the siege of Roma. Very good. So we can now start marching up here. Hopefully get that French stack off of that fort. Now, we just flood them in. <laughs> You know, that, that's all we're really doing is just flooding them in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's get on to this one here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, they're coming for me now. Now, this is woods as well, so it's probably a loss. So we'll just pull back. You want fight me in foie? I don't think you do. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. Wait for these guys to lock in. We'll come over here with our uh, Mega Giga Chad General and uh, do a little bit of steamrolling. Feels good. And get these guys back up there. Now, now the French are starting to pile in over here. Okay. We're already on defensiveness. Good defensiveness over here. So that's Aragon. France has an army, not a big one. All right, let's have these guys grouped up and brought on over. It seems like the um, the naval war is over and we've won. I have lost three ships and France has lost 74. <laughs> okay, sounds good to me. That's a decent return on investment for me. Now, we definitely do need to win these sieges. They're on Roma again. I don't want to force march. 
some mana. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and do a little bit. Oh, oh no. A furnace now. Production efficiency. We're already on three stab. I guess we'll wait for... A, oh, come on now. 28%. Give me a break game. Please, please, please. That's wild. The AI can just casually win 28% sieges like that. Meanwhile, I'm over here like... <laughs> you know. Sieging things down for a year. Catch out some of these guys over here. Oh my gosh. Is this war gonna is this battle gonna last? Very good. This is woods. Shift consolidate. So that way these guys get absolutely bopped. That is a uh, a horrible, horrible defeat for them. And I can probably stack wipe this Aragonese army. Very good. Okay, cool. France has very big war exhaustion. Now it may actually be in my best interest to, you know get them siege down pretty heavily and then also um uh devastate them quite a bit might be the move just need to win a couple of sieges and we should be fine let's have you guys split up so you're not uh taking a bunch of attrition Need to win a siege or two over here. Let's get on to Paris, of course. Obviously, we want to siege down these three provinces. No, let's have you guys here and then you here. And we want to scorch these three provinces because these forts, these three do not have a fort that touches them and then thus will hurt the uh, prosperity in this region. This province here has been looted sufficiently. Now we'll wait a month or two. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let France's war exhaustion stick up, stick up as much as possible, and then white piece them. That will be the goal. We are gaining a little bit of war exhaustion, but yeah, I'm not. We've got some time to worry about it. Go with one more loot tick here before we get on to Paris. Actually. Yeah, we'll just get everybody on to Paris. Have they upgraded the fort? They have, level 7. Yikes. Painful. Painful, painful. Okay, get these guys occupied in their uh, fullest. Austria is uh, once again the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. They want to siege down Rome. It's fine with me. These guys are going to get full occupied over here now. And two provinces over here that are ripe for the scorching. Get you guys over here on terrain. Turain, however it's pronounced. Loot tick. Boom. Come on up here to Auvignon. Scorch that one as well. They won Rome. Oh no, I'm so scared. And all I'm trying to do here is hurt France. It's literally this. The whole point of it is just to hurt France and then white piece them. So that way they are crushed by war exhaustion. Can't afford to buy it down. Have lots of rebels. Have no revanchism to speak of. Oh, get over here to good old Chart. Mm-hmm. That will be the goal there. Our manpower is recovering. They now are a very small of an army. We might be able to hurt their economy in terms of getting them some loans as well. They have two loans compared to my, you know, zero, which is great. Um, I should probably get some more manpower. Admittedly, I, I could be doing much better on the manpower front. I, I just can't be asked to micro as much as this game may require from time to time. It's just not something that uh, appeals to me, honestly. Disease outbreak, you hate to see it. 85%. By the way, let's get you guys up here so you are not going to get ganked and uh, switch that over there to them. Shift consult or four. Ooh, hey, hello there. Trent and Saxony, huh? Monthly fee. 56% will be paid by us if we accept. Oh, they're offering it to us. Yeah, yeah, of course. And we do a bit of carpet sieging. Again, not for any particular reason other than to hurt France. They are wasting a ton of Diplo mana buying it down, and the goal will be to let it max out here. We need... No, I'm not going to go to war with Russia. I do not care about them. 
Not uh, not something that concerns me at all. How much can I go up to here? 1148. We've got some time then. Have we sunk more ships? No, 82. But it looks like we have actually. So every month that goes by, they are hurting. Yep, they're up to three loans now. And their war exhaustion is up to 5.6. Now, they have been buying it down quite a bit. Now, war exhaustion does, does cause some pretty solid... Yeah, they, they bought it down. It does cause some pretty serious uh, harm to their economy. Manpower recovery, speed, goods produced, all that stuff. Which, the idea is, is that they're very war exhausted and they can't afford to pay off their loans. They actually paid off one of their loans. Curious. Curious, curious. Yeah, so the goal would be to get them, like, full occupied, basically. And then, um... Sit on their provinces so they're getting a bunch of devastation. And then makes those provinces even more useless. And they're paying for their army. And they can't afford to pay for their army. So then they get hurt over time from that. And if they want to siege on a fort or two, it's fine. Meanwhile, our uh, call for peace is starting to give us a little bit of war exhaustion, but uh, nothing compared to what they're getting. So <laughs> that's good. Um, but yeah, they keep buying down the war exhaustion, which is no fun. Because it only costs Diplomana, right? So it's not actually that big of a deal. But um, ideally, we're going to be able to get them hurt quite badly. All the devastation is, is bad, but it's realistically not a huge deal for them. Because they'll be able to... Um, to buy it right down. Still on no loans. Let it go over six again, maybe. Uh, they won't buy it down this time. 6.4. And they bought it down. So yeah. The war exhaustion is, is going to keep on going up for us, sadly. There's not really that much I can do about it. If I... If you have them full occupied, then their economy is basically completely in the toilet. You can actually see, go to country and go to like war enemies here. You can see their treasury is 299 and then on the monthly tick it goes down to so they're losing about 50 ducats a month which is you know pretty solid look at their income compared to our income right <laughs> um so that's pretty solid they're gaining 200 manpower a month england has peaced out which is a bit of a shame but it's really not a huge deal obviously we do not want to lose these occupations here so let's get these guys off of paris the peasants sieging down Paris. Imagine my shock. And uh, obviously we're going to have to siege down Chartres again. And, uh... Siege down a Valois or Valois or however it's pronounced. Take some tech, I don't care. We have no coal yet because we are not to the revolution. Or, uh, industrialization or whatever, so... Fine by me. And, uh... So sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get them to take in, out any more loans. They've bought down their war exhaustion yet again. It's unfortunate, man, that they can just, like, do that. So I guess uh, it would probably be better for us to take all their money then. We could humiliate them. Because at this point, we're, we're, we're going to have to get pieced out here shortly. I'll at least give them a month or two. Let's go with manpower recovery speed. That would be very helpful. Loot them up. You know. It's fine. Siege down a couple more provinces here. We did actually just lose all the occupations that they did have over in their... Um, in their colonies, so unfortunate, but not really a huge deal. More just irritating than anything else. Won the Siege of Chart. And now they've definitely taken out at least one more loan. No? Maybe now? Bro, how where are you getting money from? That's the question. How do you have money, homie? They still have 60,000 troops running around with, like, no land. So there's no reason. They have more now. 580. They're losing money. There's no way that wasn't from a loan, yeah? Score comparison. No. Somebody's paying for them, man. Somebody's... F <laughs> Somebody's floating these guys. All right. And they keep buying it down, man. Oh, it's so irritating. I mean, luckily for us, they have no... Um, 
No professionalism left. Oh, just kidding. They do. Really? All right. France is like surprisingly very unfazed by this war, but this is okay. Uh, we can humiliate them as well. Have them uh, null their alliance with Aragon. Yeah. It's a lot of money from them. Five loans, which is definitely solid. Oh, we're gonna have so many weird, weird armies for um. Oh, nice. Ten percent goods produced for manufacturers. Let's go ahead and embrace that. It's expensive, but I mean, who cares? Honestly, who cares at all? Not me. All right, let's have you guys conform to the template. Drop off over here. These guys will also conform to the template. Split off over here. Have you guys head down to Italy? Have you guys head down into Iberia? We should be able to just peace out Provence. I do not care at all. Oh my gosh, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> How? How are they feeling good about the war, huh? I need to know. Give me a give me one good reason why you're still in this war. Fierce negotiator holds their capital. Derp. Stupid. 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 Whatever. Here we go. I am now in a regency, huh? For a couple of months. Not a big deal. Have you guys come on over here. That's wild. <laughs> They're like, no, you know, I, I feel pretty good about this war. All right. So let's get you guys switched. Uh, no, switch these ones over to us. Now, obviously, we're going to take whatever we can in this war. AE, be damned and all that. Let's uh, take Byzantium for that. It's pretty solid. I could also take some of their islands. Let's see here. I'd like to take all of them. Oh, that's just, this is great. That's a great peace deal. Heck yeah, dude. We can afford it right now. A little bit of AE. It's actually not super unreasonable in terms of like cost. So that's pretty solid. Um, we have now non plus ultra giving us an extra 5% morale of armies, yearly tradition and some army tradition which will give excess army tradition into three mil mana each, which I'm pretty sure we're at a hundred. Yeah. So that's pretty solid then. So that means we are going to get, uh, what is that? 24 times three. So 75 mil mana plus an extra hundred. So not bad at all. Uh, and then, um, okay, cool. Then we'll core that all up. Not a problem literally at all. Have these guys suppress over here. Inevitably going to have some rebels. Have these guys maybe come over here. And let's pull our navies in because otherwise we are just going to be wasting our mill mana. Have these guys suppress up here. And I'll probably have this half stack head half over there and then half over here. Go party on Ibiza. Oh man, feels good. Feels really good to just like Take a steamy poo on France, doesn't it? Oh, that's it. Trading in sugar, cost of reducing war exhaustion. I feel like France probably had that last time, huh? It's pretty, uh, pretty irritating. Overextended, like you do. Not a big deal though. These guys suppress. These guys suppress. And we're in a good spot now. We are maxed out on stuff mostly. We have uh, Palaya or Bas Vasilios. Which is cool. He's a trade efficiency guy, so that is also very good. And, um, yeah, I guess we're just chilling now. I mean, we don't have that much unrest, yeah? We have none. It's literally just, like, over here, which is, like, handled already. So we're good. So I guess now we have to consider who we go to war with next, right? Looks like Castile has no truce with us. They'll call in Sweden and Portugal and call in England. And uh, we should be able to just kick them out of Iberia then and possibly even take a couple of provinces over here. Which is uh, very much fine with me. Go with the siege guy. And this war is a speed 5 war. For sure. Let's uh, make sure that I am getting all these occupations over here though, because England could be punks about it and siege it down and try to claim it for themselves, which would be infuriating. And uh, just like that, we should, we should be good. I'll take these texts whenever, doesn't actually matter. 
All right, take those now. Now let's take our two navies and have them grouped up. Have these guys upgraded because those are galleys that need upgraded now. We have some rebels that are handled. And just like that, we have a looming disaster. Court and country. Probably not necessary, to be honest with you. So let's just go ahead and take that stab. We already have 100 absolutism, so it's not really something that matters to me at all. Just uh, don't click on the events and they won't fire again because they can't fire if they're already pending. And we'll be able to be under 100 abs or coring stuff after by the time we do that. So it's good. A 332 Alexios. I kind of don't want you. I think you can be much better. Now, in this war, obviously, we just want these ones, which is very reasonable. Maybe we take these ones as well. But it's not considered part of... Uh, I think this is technically Africa. Yeah. Maghreb, yeah. So these are all technically Africa. So we don't need these these islands. So this is all we need. Very reasonable. Hopefully Sweden would get some occupations. Can I say, like, hey, England, go, go siege down those guys? That'd be pretty nice. Let's uh, just, you know... March around and go siege them down, I suppose. Whatever. There you go. No longer overextended. Subjects or um, rebels are... Um, how much are they gaining? Yeah, it's not going to happen. We can buy it down once. Don't have to worry about them again. All of these conversions. That's so good, man. We actually have two extra missionaries, apparently. So we'll just have them all... Automatically converting. Look at that. Oh, that's a sight of beauty. That is a sight of beauty. Where did I get this other one from? The Pentarchy. Oh, right. Triggered. Triggered. Uh, yes. Right. Which was convert and own all of those areas. That is so good. I love that. So good. Uh, does that mean I get an, an extra mission down here? Mend the schism. Which uh, will give us 20 years. Every Catholic will be prompted to convert to Orthodox. So this is the one that I was talking about before. Sadly, there's like no Catholics left. So it is what it is, though. Um, let's go ahead and have you guys switch over to AE Impact. It's fine. And um, did anybody convert? Looks like Lithuania did and Moldavia, maybe. Oh, here you go. Milan converted. Okay, so a bunch of people did. Trent did. Sadly, Poland did not. Unfortunate. What about the New World? Yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, they all did. Oh, that's so good. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's good stuff. All right. So, yeah, we just need to uh, kind of wait it out, honestly, because... Did my army make it up here? Where's my army at? Did they get stack wipe? They might have. Oh, they did. They got stack wipe somewhere. Oh, they did. Yikes. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. All right. Well, let's head up there with another guy then. Maybe not get stack wipe this time. Some rebels pop in Madrid. I already got an army there, so all is good with that. I don't care about a little bit of professionalism. Honestly, we're professionally very, very sorted out now. Uh, missionary strength is good. Reform here. Where are we at? Uh, governing cap is probably the move. Yes. In general, it's that's the one you want to go for. Tolerance of the true faith. Worst cost versus other religions. Okay. Possible policies. CCR. Autonomy in territories. Honestly, these are none of these are that bad. The tolerance is very tempting. The war score cost. I think we'll just go with governing capacity. We have so much admin mana that we could very easily start coring up a lot of this stuff. Now, yeah, I think I will core up most all of this over here. Uh, core you up as well. Core you up. This stuff over here is all in the trade companies. Speaking of, we should probably be upgrading those buildings, yeah? Definitely want to be building every single one of these that we can. I guess over here it doesn't matter as much because... This income is not something that we, we don't collect from that, but we're very close. We'll, we'll probably be able to push for economic hegemon before too long, which would be very good for us, of course. Oh, where did my war... Sp oh, who's who's losing battles? Who's losing battles now? How much of an army you got? 28,000. So, oh. 
We got a three-star general there. Okay, so I won that battle. Let's barrage those walls and see if we can get some war score from occupying their lands. That would be good. If they did get stack wiped, I don't know where they got stack wiped at, but scorch that. Try to take it back, I dare you. There we go. Oh, look at that siege ability. It's good. See, that's 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 where it's at, man. Byzantine mosaicists. Um Bellum Tower, Parthenon. What's this one in Tbil Tbilisi? Is the one over here? Oh, yeah, they're they're that's owned by them. Bellum Tower. Is this any good? Sailors. Eh. There's one in here. Can I use this one? I cannot. Oh, the one in Naples would be solid. Reform progress growth. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. And uh, we'll get it upgraded as soon as possible there. The reform progress growth alone is, is makes it, basically makes it worth it. A little bit of inflation to assert our dominance, you know. All Gucci. We have plenty of manpower, plenty of money. So all is good with that. Let's have you guys siege down over here. About to max out on uh, Diplo, which is fine. We are um, quite far ahead of time, so... We're going to do a little... <laughs> all your trade are belong to us and all that. Protectionism. I don't actually know how how worth it it really is, but... It just feels right, you know? It just feels right. Stockholm has been sieged down. Get these guys full occupied here. And that should free up a little bit more war exhaustion or war score. They keep going back and forth between low enthusiasm, so we should be able to get it here pretty shortly. The war score from a winning a battle would be really nice. Yeah, I think somebody overseas is losing battles and actually is, and is like screwing us over. Somebody's definitely losing battles overseas and screwing us over. All right, there we go. Out of Iberia. Pour it all up. These guys will suppress. Oh, of course. We don't need the crown land. Yeah, we don't need it. Life's good. That's solid. Okay. So, let's see here. We have quite a bit of trade power over here. Quite a bit here. This is honestly fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. Just need to find something to spend our money on. Probably manpower. Ooh, some forts, though. Uh, most of, Yeah, they're all good, honestly. They're all good. Oh, this is so nice. We are very much a... Uh, a very powerful nation. Basilica, huh? We could build those. I think I'll default to uh, more manpower. Looking good. 300 force limit now. All right, cool. Not bad. Bit of bit of conquest today. More importantly, beat up on the French. And uh, we'll be able to go to back to war with them before too long. We don't have a coalition or anything like that. So we could probably start working on this one over here. Now we're going to have to go to war with the Emperor eventually for Sealy. Austria will not defend them. So that's actually probably, probably the move then. Let's have these guys march down here. Poland will join. 100,000 men for them. Um... We'll see how this goes. We're going to handle it in the next one, though. So a bit of war. Going to obviously annex Tuscany. Probably separate piece Ferrara for a white piece. Uh, maybe in all their alliances with uh, Austria or something along those lines. That will allow us to annex these guys. Hopefully annex those guys. Get started up uh, pushing into southern Gaul. And, uh, you know, get one step closer to clicking the button here and forming the Roman Empire. We are very much not that far off. Uh, people may think that, like, conquest is slow. I, I promise you. It will speed up. And we'll be able to get this very, very quickly. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell. When you uh, ding the bell, you'll get notified whenever these videos go up live every weekday. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Acadia, Geol, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Ajin Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Rover, Bubba J, Saronska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.